Hello guys, welcome back to another video of Automation Testing Insider. So today I'm going to talk about what do you mean by monkey testing and what is gorilla testing and what is the difference between monkey testing and gorilla testing. So before I start this video guys, so I'll let you know that uh, uh, I have started taking mock interviews. So if you want to give your mock interview, then uh, please send out your resume on my email ID. So my email ID is hitendravarma22 at the red gmail.com. So I'll provide the uh, email ID uh, uh, in the description box of this video. So please send out your resume and book the slot for mock interviews. So let's get started with today's topic. So today we are going to discuss about uh, monkey testing and gorilla testing. So what do you mean by monkey testing? So monkey testing is a random testing guys. So there is no plan or there is uh, there are no test cases to execute monkey test. So we can easily relate with monkey. So that's why it is called monkey. So you see the basic nature of monkey. So it monkey jump jumps from one branch to another branch in a tree, right? So that's what uh, we can relate. So monkey testing as part of monkey testing, we do the random testing on any system. When we perform random testing on any system, so that is called monkey testing. So random testing, uh, the basic the basic purpose of monkey testing is to get the defect as much as possible or to break the system with the random inputs or uh, random testing. So that is monkey testing and this is black box kind of testing guys, black box testing. And uh, it is part of system testing. So we perform on integrated system. Monkey testing is used to perform on integrated system. And we don't have any plans as I have discussed earlier without test cases we use to execute monkey test. Now if you talk, talk about gorilla test, so gorilla is rather than uh, rather uh, cool and calm than monkey. So it is basically focused on particular system, particular module, I would say, particular module. So this is part of unit testing. And uh, here we have certain plans to execute gorilla testing. And this is part of white box testing. So user should have understanding of the system, internal architecture of the system and uh, coding that he or she can perform the gorilla testing. So basically it is part of unit testing. This is monkey testing is part of system testing. This is unit testing. So let's talk about more uh, differences between monkey and gorilla testing in coming slides. The next slide. So let's get it started. So monkey testing is type of software testing which is performed based on some random inputs without any test cases and checks the behavior of the system and confirms whether it crashes or not. So do not think that it is kind of load testing. In load testing what happens is we have certain test data uh, prior to prior to perform load testing right. But in monkey testing what happens is we will perform random testing. So our intention is to get uh, defects or by performing invalid operations or random testing to break the system. So that is the purpose of monkey testing. If you talk about gorilla testing, so gorilla testing is type of software testing which is performed on a module based or some random inputs repeatedly. So whenever we perform, uh, so as I have discussed earlier, so basically we perform on particular module. The gorilla testing is performed on particular module repeatedly. So we'll perform repeat, repetitive test cases on the module and check the modules functionalities and confirms no works in the module. In monkey testing, no test cases is used to test the application as it is part of random testing. It is performed repeatedly as it is part of manual testing. And uh, the monkey testing is approach is primarily used in system testing. And this gorilla testing approach is mainly used in unit testing which we have discussed at the beginning of this video. Monkey testing is implemented on a whole system because uh, this is part of system testing and gorilla testing is implemented on few selective components of the system. No software knowledge is required in order to execute the monkey testing because we perform random testing on an application. It requires minimum software knowledge in order to execute gorilla testing. 
द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ मंकी टेस्टिंग इज टू चेक वेदर सिस्टम क्रैशेस और नॉट द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ गरीला टेस्टिंग इज टू चेक वेदर द मॉड्यूल इज वर्किंग प्रॉपरली और नॉट तो मंकी टेस्टिंग इज ऑल्सो नोन एज रैंडम टेस्टिंग आई जस्ट रिमेंबर दिज नेम्स रैंडम टेस्टिंग फर्ज टेस्टिंग और स्टॉकिस्टिक टेस्टिंग सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट नेम्स ऑफ मंकी टेस्टिंग Gorilla testing is also known as torture testing, fault tolerance, or frustrating testing because repeatedly we perform the testing on particular module. So that's why it is called frustrating testing as well. There are three types of monkey testing: dumb monkey testing, smart monkey testing, and brilliant monkey testing. While there is no such different types of gorilla testing available. the implementation of monkey testing does not require any planning or preparation and the gorilla testing cannot implement without any preparation or planning so there should be certain plan or uh, uh, implementation test cases i mean some test cases should be there to perform gorilla testing so this is the difference between monkey testing and gorilla testing guys so if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment box and guys if you go to my uh, Log, that is automation testing insider dot com. Just navigate to www dot automation testing insider dot com. So if you navigate to this software testing, so I keep all the notes related to manual testing here. See like introduction to software testing, complete software testing hierarchy, software development life cycle, all software development models. So all the testing notes are here. Whatever I have, uh, have. covered as part of uh, manual testing videos my youtube channel so you can go through all the notes and uh, if you have any questions please note down your questions and put in the comment box so that i can reply you and uh, yeah we have other tabs as well like selenium automation tools java for selenium java questions and answer selenium questions and answer um, and api testing this part is pending i'm going to cover uh, very soon So this is all for today guys so thank you for watching and please do not forget to send your resume if you want to give your mock interviews so i'll provide the email id as i have discussed in the description box of this video thank you guys for watching have a nice day bye bye